Dassault Aviation has delivered the first Rafale 4.1 standard fighter jet to the French Air Force yesterday, and this is significant, as France has offered the Rafale 4.1 standard to the Indian Air Force under its 114 MRFA program. Externally, there is nothing to differentiate Rafale F4.1 standard from a Rafale F3R standard, but it marks a major technological leap with improvements to the navigation and weapons systems such as Mica NG meter NG and 1000 kg variant of Hammer, upgraded Spectra electronic warfare suite, the Talios target designation pod, upgraded RBE2 radar with improved effectiveness in the air-to-ground mode, next-generation Scorpion helmet sight, and prognosis and diagnostic aid system with predictive maintenance capabilities. India has issued no time warning for a launch of a missile in the Bay of Bengal, for the period from 15th to 17th March, and 20th to 22nd of March 2023. The designated area for the no time is over 200 km in length, and there are reports that it could be the test of the 640 km range smart torpedo from a naval warship, and the duration of the test might have been limited for a shorter range, as the missile is still under development. UAE's Edge Defense Group has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Bharat Dynamics Limited to produce Altaric long-range single modular kits for MK-81, MK-82 and MK-83 munitions, as well as a 500-pound penetration warhead for Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. Altaric long-range kit has long standoff ranges of up to 120 km and all-weather day or night operational capabilities. It uses imaging infrared technologies with automatic target recognition capabilities, semi-active laser seekers to improve targeting accuracy, lock-on before and after launch capability, height of burst sensor capability, and in-flight retargeting capability. The Indian Air Force has announced its plan to procure 80 medium-lift military transport aircraft and it would need another 30 heavy lift military transport aircraft to replace the 40-year-old IL-76 heavy lift military transport aircraft. Experts have said that both programs should be combined and co-developed with a foreign manufacturer. The medium lift and heavy lift aircraft can be based on the same principal baseline design as C-1 and C-2 aircraft by Kawasaki in Japan, that can be used to further develop a 60-ton payload carrying aircraft. Hindustan Aeronautics will use a company-owned upgraded Hawk MK-132 advanced jet trainer as a test bed aircraft for the upcoming HLFT-42. The upgraded Hawk will be integrated with an indigenous fly-by-wire system and indigenously developed mission computer and other systems, that will eventually find its way into the HLFT-42. It will also get the AESA Radar F414 engine and smart multifunction display from the Tejas program, that will ensure high commonality with the Tejas Mark 1A and Mark 2 fighter jets. The Indian Navy has issued a request for information to procure three non-propelled water barges of 200 tons from registered Indian shipyards. The barge must be capable of supplying light stores to ships and submarines, and the anticipated delivery timeline for the first barge is maximum of 18 months, followed by delivery of each barge every three months. The Indian Navy is racing against time to get the INS we crammed at year operational before the onset of monsoon, and fighter operations is expected to begin by end of this month. The second aircraft carrier INS Vikrant will be fully operational after monsoon season, which is by end of September.